Hi, this afternoon we're at Simo Milling in Scott City, Missouri, uh, right adjacent to the beautiful Mississippi River. Simo uh, Milling is a large corn milling facility and they supply the majority of the uh, grain that Anheuser-Busch uses in their beers as well as Andy's fish breading, Post cereals, uh, Zatarans, and some other brands that you may be familiar with. Uh, today we're going to talk about their operations and the cardinal installation we did here. Uh, featuring the 225 indicator and the SP500 scoreboards, as well as the uh, EPR uh, 13570 truck scale. At Precision Scale and Controls, we use the 225 as our go-to truck scale indicator. We find it to be much more robust, much more bang for your buck. We obviously have a truck in and out program that's featured in the unit. We have uh, Made in USA, which is a really big plus because uh, we can get parts availability and one of the big features with the unit that we like is the fact that it has a full alphanumeric 40 keyboard uh, which nobody else in the industry has. With the addition of USB connectivity now it makes it much easier if they do interface to a software program or with the additional card to be able to drop it to a USB jump drive Relay boxes are very, very nice features. We use a lot of these for simple batching operations. Real easy to hook up, real easy to put in. And then the other nice thing about this is if they ever, we do have a problem with lightning and things of that nature, we can upgrade it to ICANN. Simply changing the firmware, putting in the uh, fiber optic boards, and then putting an ICANN in the scale. So we have a, a lot of uh, nice features with this instrument. We are still at SEMO Milling and we're now out on the Cardinal truck scale in front of one of the SB500 remote displays. One of the nice things about using a 225 is that it seamlessly integrates with the SB500 remote displays. What we do uh, typically is that we would either set up a red and green soft key on the instrument display itself or the nice thing about the 225 is it also has an auto mode allowing us to put a threshold weight in so once the scale sees a rising weight above a certain parameter, it'll automatically turn the light red until such time that the transaction is completed, thereby turning it green automatically. And that process then is repeated on the outbound side, uh, holding that truck in position until that outbound ticket and transaction is completely done. It's just a really nice feature. Uh, it's real easy to sell scoreboards too. It's a, an added function. I would say probably a good 80% of our truck scales are sold with scoreboards.